On November 20th, 2014, the Manasquan Elementary School recognized a very special day, Children's Grief Awareness Day. Begun in 2008, it is observed on the third Thursday of every November, the week just before Thanksgiving. This day is about a world that honors a child's feelings, invites families to speak openly and tell their stories, listens, hears, empathizes, and shows up when others are running away. It raises awareness of the painful impact that the death of a loved one has in the life of a child, an opportunity to make sure the children receive the help they need. Many people do not realize that it can take a child much longer to deal with their grief than we expect, and the amount of inner turmoil, not obvious to most of us, can in fact be invisible to us. While a child may seem like a normal child, there may yet be a raging storm inside the grieving child's heart. Manasquan Elementary School recognizes the children's need and the right to grieve. Through the efforts of Nancy Sanders and Terry Trumpor and many others here in Manasquan Elementary School, these children had a day where they felt they could talk openly about their grief. And then, through the remembrance tree, a place where they could openly write their grievance messages. So hello, what is your name? Good morning, my name is Nancy Sanders, school counselor, Manasquan Elementary School. And what is this that's behind us? Well, this is our tree of remembrance. And what is that? The Tree of Remembrance is a way that our students can express themselves for the losses that they've had in their life in recognizing um, Child Grief Awareness Day. Children's Grief Awareness Day has become nationally recognized. And it's an opportunity for us to teach not only ourselves, the staff, but our children that children do grieve and an opportunity for them to express themselves. Thank you. I also wanted to mention that we have a wonderful resource here in Manasquan called the Common Ground Grief Center. It is a center that was um, founded by Lynn Schneider and a place where children can go to be together to share in the grief process. We also have an adult group um, that meets when the children come to the house. The house offers uh, sand therapy, play therapy, art therapy, music therapy, uh, sharing time and this is a place that's dear to my heart. I volunteered there for the last three years um, working with the children and also being um, a facilitator for the adult group. I've also had loss in my life. Um, I lost my husband nine years ago. Four children, they lost their dad. I only wish that I had this most valuable resource when, I, um, had, when my children were young and they had gone through the, the loss of their dad. So it's very dear to my heart and it's a wonderful um, resource that we have right here in town and um, such a need for our children to have a place to be together to realize that they're not alone in their grief. I just want to say um, this has been such a, a great project for us. Um, Terry Trimpour, our art teacher here at Manasquan Elementary School, with her expertise and her experience and knowledge, she was able to create this three-dimensional tree. And um, she's just been so instrumental in supporting our staff and our children here at Manasquan Elementary School. Ready? I also want to acknowledge Mrs. Trumpour um, for supporting this project. We had several children that were making the leaves, and um, Terry was instrumental in designing this wonderful tree. And she can tell you a little bit about the leaves on the tree. Well, I, was, I feel very privileged to have been part of this day and to give children a chance to talk about their, their grief. It was a wonderful day. Each child was able to fill out a leaf and apply it to the tree that, that had nothing on it, so we have filled it. That day, uh, 
National Grief Day was amazing here at Manasquan Elementary because many of the children were able to express their feelings and talk about their feelings. I felt so happy to be part of it. It was a day of both tears but joy for us to share a lot of the grief that took place in their lives, in their personal lives. I feel that this is a very important day and I was so happy that Mrs. Sanders asked me to be part of it. Thank you. Hi. I also want to uh, say thank you um, to some of our parents came out and they assisted us during the lunch periods where um, they manned the tables and the children were coming up and filling up the leaves and we were handing out blue ribbons. Uh, blue ribbons signified this very special day of children's grief awareness. But our parents were also very supportive and I thank them immensely because um, without them we couldn't have made this day so um, you know, um, easy and accessible to our children and it was a very nice way that they were under no pressure it was during their lunch periods they came up and they were just very um, involved and, and it gave them a great feeling to be able to express themselves and to be a part of this special day so a very special thank you to my parents that were supportive in this project as well the tree of remembrance join our commemoration if you wish to honor someone you loved and miss. Pick a leaf, or write your thoughts, or just a list, a few special words to help you reminisce. Then bring your leaf to the remembrance tree. It's in the front hall near the library, and hang it with love for all to see. It's the thought that counts, and always will be.